Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 25, Area of Rectilinear Figures, Exercise 25, D, Question 1. This is find the area of the following trapezium whose dimensions are. Now, we know what a trapezium is. There are two types of trapeziums. One is your isosceles trapezium. It's like this, in which there are uh, there's one pair of sides that is parallel and the other pair of sides is non parallel This is your isosceles trapezium and another trapezium we have here as well Okay, there's another trapezium that's called the non isosceles trapezium. So It's something like this you can see so these two sides here. They are not equal. Okay, so this is the main difference between these two types of trapeziums. Let's come back. We have to calculate the area of the trapezium. Okay, so area of a trapezium. For trapezium, we'll write trap and then dot. So we're going to do 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides and multiply this by your height let me raise this thing so multiply this by height two things we need or i should say three things we need first is the sum of the parallel sides okay so parallel sides are given to us parallel sides are what the sides in this uh, you can see this and this they are parallel they are never meeting so we have to find the length of these sides and then we have to add them previously we did product of diagonals where we multiply the diagonals here we have to add the sides see 1 by 2 into now sum of parallel sides so one side is 6 centimeters another is 8 centimeters so into 6 plus 8 and multiply this by height that is 10 so 14 here into 5 this is coming out to be 70 square centimeters and that's the area of the trapezium let's see the next part now now let's see the next one here same thing we have to put the value so i won't be doing much 1 by 2 multiply by some of the parallel sides we have 6.4 plus 4.6 multiply this by your height that is 4 centimeters solve 2 and 4 I can cancel so here I will be left with 2 multiplied by 6.4 plus 4.6 is 11 so you have 22 square centimeters as your area let's see the next part now see the next one here we again have height and the parallel sides given 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides one is 15 another is 9.2 so 15 plus 9.2 multiply this by heights so that's your 8.4 let's cancel this and this so you'll have 4.2 okay i'm canceling it by 2 so 4.2 into 15 plus 9.2 is 24 by 24.2 so this we get although i know the answer but still i'll do the calculation to make things very clear regarding the decimal as well see 4 here 8 here 4 here again 8 here 16 here 1 there so 9 16 1 11 and 1 here so 10 and decimal point after two places so what you get here 101.64 square centimeters as your what area let's move on to the next part now see the fourth part we've got here again 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides that is 12 and the 16 and then into you have 7 here so again solve open the bracket because nothing can be cancelled outside of it so 1 by 2 into 12 plus uh, your 16 right um, 12 plus 16 this is what 28 and into 7 cancel this and this by 2 i am cancelling so 14 into 7 this is coming out to be 98 square centimeters and that's your answer and friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.